Welcome to another Decred news update. So many things are in the development pipeline and should be released soon like KQuality integration, Decred DEX version 1, and Bison Relay UI overhauls. And even Decred and Monero atomic swaps on the basic swap DEX. And furthermore, we are just a few weeks away from the Bitcoin halving which should have a major impact on the cryptocurrency ecosystem. So really exciting times ahead, let's recap recent Decred development updates. Support has been added in Decred's full node DCRD for TinyGo, a variant of the Go programming language for embedded systems. Adding peer-to-peer -peer coin mixing directly into DCRD is still being worked on with peer-to-peer -peer mixing messages being added. This means Decred's privacy service will be able to work without a centralized server. Decred DEX is a trustless, KYC-free exchange for trading different blockchain assets like Layer 1 coins and even stable coins like USDC. Developers are making the final touches before moving to testnet for market maker and arbitrage bots, USDC on Polygon, support for Firo, staking, and privacy mixing. There's also lots of UI tweaks and bug fixes. Let's check some of the recent developments. Some final touches and fixes to USDC and Polygon were pushed for when testing begins. Work is being done to implement the ability to view the actions taken by market maker bots and the performance of bots as they are running and also for already completed runs. How it works is an event log database is created that is updated each time a bot initiates a DEX order, sex order, deposit, or withdrawal. It is also updated each time one of these events has an update. The fiat rates of each asset relevant to the market making bot is also tracked over the course of the run. Work is being done to create one-click Ethereum and Polygon wallets where there are default providers instead of the user having to manually find one. Updates to CSS variables and other formatting fixes are being made. The Bitcoin wallet is being updated to identify all past transactions that the wallet has made. This way, if the DEX is reinitialized with a seed that was already used, the transaction history of native wallets can be recovered. When an RPC wallet is connected, the transaction history prior to connecting will be displayed. For market maker bots, oracles will be enabled to get prices for token assets. The initial proof of concept of an Android build for DEX seems to be underway, with Tor hidden service being added. And now moving on to Lightning Network, a log will now be created when channels are disabled. Further work is ongoing to improve performance. And speaking of Lightning Network, Bison Relay makes use of it to enable a secure and sovereign communications platform. Work is being done to improve the Android background notification service, the attachment widget for sending media is being redone to be more modern and aligned with user expectation. And group chat messaging styling is being updated to bring it more in line with the expected user interface for most chat applications. Unfortunately, there are no screenshots of this just yet to display. CryptoPower, a new lightweight multi-coin wallet for Decred, Litecoin, and Bitcoin, has a new release that improves sync info, adds a DEX testnet, tweaks the UI, and many other small bug fixes. So make sure to update to this new release by visiting CryptoPower.dev. The CryptoPower team will soon be adding support for 12 word seeds and 24 word seed wallets, which will be a nice feature for anyone who doesn't want to save a 33 word seed, which has been the default for some time now. Work is also being done to add Chinese language support. Decred.org has been officially revamped and now includes helpful information about what exactly Decred is while keeping a familiar design in the Money Evolved tagline. It includes a featured section and a stats section. Be sure to check it out and show it to friends. Now let's look at Politea Decred's proposal platform. UTXO Studios has a new proposal as a follow-up to their first creative video, Marketing Decred, which was released in numerous languages. This second proposal discusses creating a high-quality commercial two to three minutes in length for Decred that highlights the surveillance state, the decline of society and financial systems and presents Decred as a solution to preserve individual freedom. This is very similar to Coinbase's recent string of commercials which tie the struggles of the real world with the solutions offered by cryptocurrencies. They are requesting $49,600 in Decred to pay for equipment, editors, actors, and all other expenses. They have included a complete script at the bottom of their proposal showing stakeholders what they intend to create. Their goal is to get more eyes on Decred throughout this bull market and far into the future through compelling visual and narrative content. The basic swap DEX proposal passed with 89% yes votes and a voter turnout of 53% with over 21,000 votes cast. 
Basic Swap Dex is an atomic swap based exchange similar to DCR Dex, but with full Monero support and private atomic swaps called adapter signature atomic swaps. Users have complete control of their coins, there is no KYC at all, and trading is permissionless and trustless. It comes with a full GUI to trade across a range of cryptocurrencies and an executable Windows installer. The big value proposition here for the Decred community is adding bi-directional Decred and XMR atomic swaps, a feature that has been requested on DCR decks for years, but wasn't possible because Decred's atomic swaps require scripts, something Monero does not have. So those looking to trade DCR and XMR will soon be able to do so. The basic swap decks team says it should only take about two months to fully add Decred. This proposal includes long-term support for Decred and inclusion in any potential roadmap updates or innovations the basic swap team comes up with, like integrating basic swap into their decentralized marketplace called Particle. There is also a proposal to create a Bison meme token on the Solana network, which would then be distributed to Decred holders, but it was abandoned. In an effort to promote Decred, I created an abstract video about how the current financial and surveillance system is failing us. More Americans are picking up a second job just to get by. It's a sign that the highest inflation in 40 years is really making it difficult to make ends meet. right now is everybody in Congress knows the process is broken and the debt limit, yeah. the government shutdowns, that often motivates members to say this is no way to, to run a country. Phoenix Screen has new videos on microtransactions. When people discuss blockchain scaling, they normally allude to the problem of getting a transaction confirmed quickly cheaply and having enough block space to process plenty of transactions per second. This is indeed an issue and is definitely one factor that has hindered mainstream and merchant adoption. No one enjoys services that are unpredictable, slow and expensive. Microtransactions are an intense reaction to this issue, which basically says I want to take the smallest unit on the network and send it to someone else on the network. Using microtransactions as a live stream engagement mechanism. The use of comments, advertisement and product placement is nothing new, but a live stream platform that embraces microtransactions could take this service to an entirely new level. Using microtransactions, users would be able to interact and engage with content with minimal effort or expense. This could include posting paid comments, entering a prize draw, adding a discussion point to a live stream, participating in a giveaway, displaying in-show advertisements and displaying advertisements for commercial breaks. Looking at network stats, there is a new stake shuffle privacy mixing all time high of 63.6%. And the treasury has been hovering around 20 million US dollars in Decred to fund current operations and future developments. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out decred.org to learn more.